The opening image shows a secluded forest with a lonely car driving along a road. We are then introduced to Wendy, Danny and Jack. We see that Danny has an imaginary friend called Tony. In the inciting incident, we are shown that Tony shows Danny the past of the hotel and the horrific incidents that happened. Danny ends up fainting. We are also shown the relationship between Wendy and Jack and how she is trusting. Also, we learn that Danny and Dick have what is called The Shining. Dick warns Danny of room 237. What point? We see Danny finds room 237 open and he explores it. We later see that Danny has bruising on his neck. In pinch one, we see Jack going to explore room 237. He has vision of a beautiful woman, which later turns out to be the complete opposite. In the midpoint, Jack hears noise from a party. He meets Grady, who tells him that he killed his wife and child. We see Dick's shining coming into place, and he goes to help Danny and Wendy. Tony takes over Danny's body in the respect that he writes murder on all the doors, but backwards, which says red rum. He begins to type on his typewriter, all work and no play makes Jack a book a dull boy over and over, leading to the confrontation with his wife. In the pantry by his wife, Jack is finally released by the ghost Grady. After being locked in the pantry, Jack lusts for the blood of his wife. And in the climax, Jack kills Dick and then later goes crazy and tries to kill his wife. Danny escapes and goes into the maze and Jack chases after him. Danny finally escapes in the snowcat after Jack realises that he was all the caretaker all along and was still there on the July 4th ball in 1921 when the wife and child, children died.